Hi, welcome back to my channel and you are watching Language and Linguistics with Jamila Agrar. Today's topic is um, the linguistic terms and it's sometimes confusing for the students. Today I will try to clear the concept. So let's begin. This concept is given by a famous linguist Ferdinand the Seashore who described the three moves of a language and he says that sign, signifier and signified it's a kind of arbitrary relationship so there is need to understand uh, what is sign, signifier and signified sign, first of all we will discuss about sign sign is a physical marker which carries some information and it gives direct and brief precise information about anything or you can say it is opposed to the symbols here I have example about sign uh, for instance if the gesture of waving one's hand it is a sign so what does it mean if someone or somebody is waving hand it can be a sign of hello hi to someone or it can be a sign of farewell well it depends on the situation so the movement of the hand and the gesture is a perfect example of a sign a language is consists of two parts the first one is signifier and the next one is signified signifier is the actual sound when we utter any kind of word for instance if I say tree tree the word tree it definitely have a sound the sound of the word tree it comes under the category of signifier but when we pronounce any kind of word it definitely carries a picture in our mind for instance when I say tree definitely it gives a mental picture to my mind that mental picture is signified here is another example of signifier if I say apple I want to eat an apple apple the word the amalgamation of the letters the exact sound of the word apple is called a signifier it definitely gives a picture to my mind a mental image that I got of my apple that is signified according to the language signifiers can be different because there are multiple languages in the world so the signifier can be changed but the signified remains same there are few words few abstract words in any language where the signified can be different for example if I talk about the beauty beauty is a signifier uh, but uh, the signified can be vary from person to person for example if I say beauty for me if I find beauty uh, in the novels and the books maybe the other person perceive beauty and different things that will be that will be opposite to my choice that's all for today hope so you have cleared about the concept sign signifier and signified if you like the concept or the video, thumbs up and don't forget to share.